Thank you very much, and welcome to our eighth annual Ad Revenue Conference. It's great to be here with 500 of our uh, friends, customers, and partners across the entire online advertising ecosystem. What I thought I'd do to get us kicked off this morning is talk a little bit about some of the key challenges and opportunities that we face as an industry, share my vision, Pumatic's vision, for how we are helping our customers solve these problems today and in the future. And I'd also like to, to share with you a demo of some of the exciting and innovative solutions that we've been working on uh, since the last time we met about a year ago. So as many of us are aware, our media world is starting to look a little bit like Times Square. Uh, and I don't, I mean less the, the naked guy and more many of the billboards. We have more and more connected devices. Uh, we consume more content on each of those devices. And as a result, we see more and more ads on a daily basis. In fact, experts estimate that we see some 3,000 ad impressions per day. It's a huge number of ads. So if the old mantra was content is king, I'd like to suggest a new one. Relevance is king. Now the challenge is only going to get greater. Over the next five to 10 years, we're going to see an explosion of connected devices as the Internet of Things blossoms. Everything from watches and thermostats to kitchen appliances, TVs, cars, medical devices, all of these devices will be connected to the Internet and they'll present at least two key opportunities. They'll either be screens or canvases on which we can place ads or they'll generate huge amounts of data that give us better insight into how consumers act, how consumers behave, and, and how consumers think. In fact, Cisco estimates that there will be some 50 billion connected devices globally by 2020, up from about 10 billion today. Now, as we connect more and more devices to the internet, at the same time, consumers' expectations for ads are increasing. And this is gonna be a greater and greater challenge, of course. And I'd like to suggest at least four key elements for creating a strong and engaging consumer experience with advertising. So the first is relevance. Ads, of course, have to be relevant. They have to be re relevant to me uh, based on my socioeconomic and demographic background, as well as whatever interests I happen to have at any given point in time. Second, ads have to be timely. So they have to reach me whenever I'm in the consideration cycle or purchase cycle for a particular good or a service. Third, the ads have to be engaging. The ad creative, as well as the ad format itself, has to engage me as a consumer. And lastly, the ad has to be additive to the content. It can't slow down the, the content of the page uh, or the app. It can't block the, uh, the content. And it can't have so many pixels in it that it, uh, it uh, is bad or, or negligent for the consumer experience. And of course, we know the result of getting this wrong. The result of this is, is ad blocking. And of course, we're seeing a significant rise in ad blocking today. Now, I've got two boys at home, a four-year-old and a five-year-old, and they're too young to have figured out how to download and install an ad blocker on their iPad. But I came home from work the other day, and my five-year-old son, Neil, was watching a video on YouTube on his iPad. So I said, Neil, what, what are you watching? He said, hi, Daddy. I'm watching, uh, I'm watching a Mighty Machines video, but don't worry, I skipped all the ads. And as I, as I thought to myself, he has no idea how I make a living, I also came to realize the depth of the challenge that we have in front of us, right? So Neil is exactly the type of consumer that many people here in the room will want to target in 10, 15, 20 years from now. And his expectations for, for the ad experience are already astronomically high. And of course, those expectations are only going to grow with time. Now, to deliver on these consumer expectations for ads and do this well across the scale of devices, an array of devices, the growing array of ad formats and, of course, sales channels, we think people here in the room need the right technology platform partner. And that platform partner has to provide at least three key capabilities. Yield management, workflow automation, and analytics. Now, many of you in the room work with us today on yield management, and that's what you know us for, driving the highest possible revenue for every single ad impression. But that's not enough to, to create a strong foundation for the business that you have today and the business that you want to have in the future. So the second key element is workflow automation. And that's helping to make your business more efficient and more responsive to market needs. We can use software to help make the process of identifying new opportunities, planning, and closing or converting those opportunities significantly better by informing that process with data and then streamlining it or automating it via software. And third, and I think most important, is we think real-time analytics and insights that help you, help you run your business better are extremely important in the future. 
Advertising is about more than just squeezing an incremental dollar out of the last advertising campaign. Instead, we've got to make it really about how to better understand your business and build a foundation for a better and more innovative future. Now, we think Pomatic offers, of course, a lot of the solutions to help you do this. And one of the things I want to talk about in particular is real-time analytics. So what you have on the screen here is a screenshot from a Bloomberg terminal. Now, over the last couple of decades, some of the brightest minds in the country and, in fact, the world have been focused on enabling real-time financial data and real-time financial trading or transactions. And as a result, we have financial markets that are deeper, broader, and more liquid than ever before. And we're very proud at Pomatic that we brought real-time analytics for the first time ever in the industry into the real-time trading environment of online advertising. And we think this is a critical step towards building a much more innovative future for the industry. Our customers can see their advertising data, revenue data, deal performance data, all of this on a five-second delay, not a three-hour, five-hour, or 12-hour delay. Now, we asked Forrester to help us understand and quantify what are the types of benefits that our customers are seeing as a result of these real-time analytics. And the results were tremendous. So over half of our customers see increase in revenue or increase in yield. And over 40% of our customers are able to make better decisions and better understand their inventory as a result of our real-time analytics solution. These are tremendous results, and they're very tangible results. And this solution is available to all of our customers today. Now, the theme of our conference is getting ahead of real time. So let's zoom out and look at the actual problem that we at Pubmatic are trying to solve and that many of the publishers here in the room are facing. And that problem, that challenge, is one of marketing automation. How do you identify new advertiser opportunities, qualify those, ad uh, those advertisers, plan, create an offer, create a package, create the right proposal for them, convert those advertisers into paying advertisers, and then optimize and grow those deals across devices, across sales channels, and across formats. And this goes well beyond real-time trading and, and speaks to the ability to build a strong foundation for the future of your business. And Pomatic has developed solutions at all aspects of this marketing automation process flow. And we look forward to engaging with you over these solutions throughout the course of the day. Now, the alternative to using a platform such as, such as Pomatic's platform is to turn to some of the walled gardens that are emerging in the industry today, companies like Facebook and Google. We're all witnessing, of course, the rise of these walled gardens. And what these walled gardens are trying to do, of course, is control content distribution and advertising and deliver it on their own terms. Now, the challenge here and the risk that it poses to many in the room is that these walled gardens risk trapping many of you inside of them. Let's take Facebook instant articles, for example. Many of you here are experimenting with it. Facebook instant articles risks shrinking your business into a na the narrow confines of pure content generation as opposed to actually owning the consumer experience. It also risks turning your business into one of going after uh, newsfeed shares and likes as opposed to real objective journalism. And of course, Facebook's advantage in knowing your consumer better than you will only grow through the likes of this type of solution. Just last week, Google announced AMP. Now, AMP is Google's approach to actually forking the internet and HTML as we know it into a proprietary version driven by Google standards that helps speed up the consumer experience around mobile. Now, of course, Google can punish you if, you're, if your website is not fast enough by dropping your, your results in organic search rankings. So, of course, everybody here has to balance short-term revenue priorities with the long-term objectives of their business, but these are some potentially very scary scenarios for, for everybody here in the room. Now, at Pomatic, we're trying to take a unique approach. So let's look at how many of the players in the industry are solving the marketing automation challenge. The vast majority of players are trying to build branded exchanges that sit as an intermediary between publishers and advertisers. So these branded exchanges look to build value by creating liquidity, creating a trading platform, and bringing more and more transactions onto that platform. Now, our approach at Pomatic is quite different and quite unique. What we want to do is empower the principals in the transaction, the publishers and the advertisers, or brands, in order to transact directly. So many of you know us from our position on the right side of the ecosystem, enabling publishers. But over the last couple of years, 
we've been hard at work building a media buyer platform. And this takes the shape of either a console or a set of APIs that allows buyers to identify new advertiser, uh, new publisher opportunities or new packages of inventory, negotiate, and then transact uh, on exactly those packages. So let me be clear, this is not a DSP. We have many great DSP partners here in the room uh, with us today. We do not actively uh, optimize for advertiser ROI. But what we can do is help publishers better interact with advertisers by presenting their inventory and making it much more seamless to transact against that inventory. Ultimately, we want to support the principals in the room, the publishers and the advertisers, which again is a very unique approach. And that approach has led us to our one platform solution. Our single platform can help publishers across every single ad format, static IAB ad units, native units, rich media units, video ad units, across all screens, mobile, tablet, desktop computers, and across all sales channels, direct and indirect. And for mobile, we also offer traditional ad serving as well as programmatic capabilities. Now the one platform approach that we have reflects nearly a, de uh, a decade of focused innovation as well as multiple acquisitions. And we're constantly striving for the highest levels of customer service and innovation in the industry. And this platform is getting great, trans uh, great traction. The last couple of years have been breakout years for us in terms of growth. Many of you are using our platform today and increasing your use of that platform from tablet, mobile, and desktop uh, devices to the increasing array of devices that we will support in the future and that we're hard at work on. Now we talked a bit about marketing automation from a publisher perspective. We're also attacking this from an advertiser perspective. So at Pubmatic, we're building solutions that increasingly support all of the steps that advertisers need to take in order to find inventory, negotiate on it, and then transact on it in a very seamless and efficient fashion. And in fact, one of our, uh, one of our favorite DSP partners, MediaMath, is here in the room. And they've seen great results in using our media buyer platform. Uh, so this is a quote from Sam Cox, who I'm sure many of you know. And what they, uh, what they value in the platform is their ability to search for inventory or filter on it use real-time analytics to manage deal health, uh, and then create deal IDs on the fly without any human intervention. So what I want to do is invite Evan Simeone, Pomatic's VP of Product Management, up on stage. I don't want you to just take our word for the innovation that we've been hard at work at. And Evan's going to show some of the solutions that we've been working on since we met a year ago. Uh, some, some of these solutions are in market today, and some, some will be coming in the future. So Evan, what do you have in store for us this morning? Hey everybody. Um, so I'm uh, here today to tell about some exciting product development that's been happening at Pubmatic, um, including the Media Buyer Console that Rajiv was just mentioning that we uh, released a major update to recently. And I'd like to also uh, introduce an exciting new next generation monetization platform codenamed Project Phoenix. So we've been wor working on this project for over a year now, and this is really the first time that we're showing it off publicly. Project Phoenix provides integrated support for direct ad serving and programmatic monetization across multiple uh, ad formats and platforms, including mobile, desktop, video, and native. Publishers are always under pressure to increase revenue and eCPMs, while traffic is scattered across multiple screens, several sales channels need to be managed, and budgets and resources are, are always under pressure and being cut. And operations team, on the other hand, have to use multiple platforms from different vendors to keep up, and in doing so, miss out on opportunities to maximize revenue. So this means that analysis and optimization across different sales channels, screens, and formats needs to be done manually. And simple questions like, how much did Ford spend with me last week become very difficult to answer. So it's a lot of unnecessary work, and worse, a lot of money is left on the table. But it no longer has to be that way. So I'd like to give a sneak peek at the world's first responsive monetization platform that optimizes every impression across every channel, every platform, and format in real time. It's built from the ground up for today's digital marketplace. This new platform mediates across direct sold campaigns, private marketplace, and open exchange to ensure that you achieve maximum revenue and the highest fill rate while actually making your life simpler. So let's take a look at how it works. 
So what we're looking at here is um, Project Phoenix uh, order management and the line item listing view. I'll just quickly show that we've got here uh, various types of line items, so sponsorship and standard, these are direct sold guaranteed line items, but we've also got private marketplace, open exchange, all running in the same platform, um, and they're sorted here by priority. Uh, now traditionally when you're managing your priority in an ad server, you've got different channels and you're constantly trying to tune the priority to maximize your, your fill or your yield. I'm gonna show you in a minute a, a better way to do that that we're offering in this platform. Let's just take a quick look at a couple of these line items. Um, so we've got a standard line item here. Its priority is eight. It's targeted at some mobile inventory. Um, and we've got, uh, let's see, an RTV, open exchange line item, also targeted at the same inventory. And so let me just show you some of the mobile capabilities. So mobile was a key focus in developing this platform about a year or so ago. Uh, Rajiv mentioned we've done some acquisitions. We acquired Motion and their market leading uh, mobile ad server. With that, we got a lot of great mobile technology and expertise. Um, and we've been leveraging that to build out great mobile features in our SSP platform as well as our direct ad serving platform. And really this project is the culmination of both of those efforts. And I'll just uh, briefly show you a little bit of some of the mobile targeting capabilities. Um, we've got GPS targeting uh, either by address and radius or lat long, degrees decimal, degrees minutes, seconds, uh, device targeting, of course browser, also operating system, iOS, Android, uh, capabilities, NFC, phone call, ringtone, et cetera. I won't go through every option here. <laughs> Uh, categories, everything from smartphone to smartwatch, connected TV and beyond. So uh, this is a, a flexible framework and we'll be constantly adding to this as uh, new platforms emerge. So digital out of home um, and beyond, expect to see in the future. So I've showed you uh, that we can support multiple channels. Um, we support multiple devices and platforms. Um, and we've got all of these line items running together and competing with each other. So I mentioned before that they're gonna compete based on priority, but I just wanted to show you um, something that's a little bit different that we're also offering. So typically, the platform that's serving these different ads and running these line items has some algorithm and it's trying to, to deliver and keep pace. Um, and you've gotta do a lot of work to tune it or to adjust um, the priorities to get it to behave the way you want. So we're, we've taken a different approach and given you the ability to actually tune the algorithm in the delivery engine directly. So if I go in here to my optimization and my demand channel optimization settings, you can see that I've got uh, five options here. They range from most conservative to most aggressive. Um, so this is one through five. And the default is level two, which means that it's going to always give precedent to direct sold line items as long as they're the same or higher priority. So this is a, a typical setting and how many platforms work. You can be even more conservative to always give precedence to direct sold line items regardless of priority, or you can look for revenue upside. So depending on the nature of your business, and we give you a preview of what you can expect in terms of, of uh, increased revenue, you can tune this up to one of these higher settings and really optimize your revenue and then you can see what the impact might be on higher priority line items. So it's not just a manual process of going in and constantly tweaking it. You can actually tune the algorithm and it gives you complete control. So I've talked about uh, a few different devices, uh, multiple devices, multiple channels, direct, indirect, open exchange, private marketplace. I wanna talk a little bit about uh, multi-format support as well. So I can go in and look at inventory and see some of the ad units. Uh, these are the fundamental inventory building blocks in the platform. And I'll just quickly touch on uh, a couple of formats. So for example, this one supports rich media, native, and video. And let me just show you some of the native options. So today, typically people are using a separate solution for native got to hobble together a technology from multiple vendors. Um, and this is a uh, 
faster, simpler, more integrated way of supporting any kind of native format in a single platform. Um, so we support uh, rich native templates. There's a few that are set up here, content wall, app wall, news feed. I'm just gonna show you how I can add a new one. I can either base it on an existing one or I can create a completely new native template. So here's an app wall template. Um, there are many others to choose from, carousel, chat lists, et cetera, and news feed. I can even create a completely custom template. Um, so I can make some template with a bunch of icon images or, or whatever I want. Um, and then once I've done this, uh, I've got this template to be reused on any line item. I can target it, upload my assets, and I'm done. So it's a really fast, simple way to do native. Um, so I won't go through every format that we support, but just briefly mention uh, video support, fast 3.0, vPaid. So it's really multi-format, multi-channel, multi-platform, and it makes managing all of these different elements much easier. But the key to really being able to get full advantage of all of these technologies in one place is also having the data and insights it requires to get the most out of them, to maximize them, and to, to really understand your full business. So over the last year or so, we've invested a lot at Pubmatic in analytics, and we've introduced a market-leading analytics platform that supports advanced features such as natural language processing. So you can literally just type in what you're looking for, and it will automatically generate a report uh, that meets your needs. It's, it's the fastest, easiest way to do ad hoc reporting. Um, it's also supported by a really fast uh, and efficient data pipeline, which uh, allows for real-time analytics that Rajiv mentioned. Um, that means you can see what's happening in your business. A user gets an impression within a couple minutes, that impression is registered and you can see the data. So we've built on some of these advances in our data and analytics technology, um, and we've built them into uh, this new platform um, and we provide a dashboard that gives you a complete view um, of your business, both direct and indirect across the multiple platforms, the multiple devices in a single place. So I can see my revenue, my eCPM, my impressions across open exchange, private marketplace, uh, and direct sold as well. Of course, I've got quick alerts for anything I need to pay attention to and uh, key bits of information related to my top direct orders, my top private marketplace deals, and so on. So with this, we've provided a better way for publishers to manage their inventory and their business. Now, just as important is making sure that buyers can find that inventory and put together deals really easily. So another area that uh, we've invested a lot in, and we just released a major update um, is in our media buying uh, platform and the media buyer console. So I'm just gonna show you that for a minute. This is the featured page. So it highlights uh, some interesting offers and in inventory, um, either new things or things you might be interested in. Um, and I'll just show you uh, some of the key details that makes it easy to see in terms of CPM and avails, uh, the platforms that it supports, the targeting it supports, um, Here's location and audience targeting. I can look at the details and then see uh, the different ad sizes that we've got here um, and then the breakdown of avails by geo, for example. And if this is exactly what I want, then I just click add a deal, fill out a couple fields, and within a minute or so, I've got a private marketplace deal. Um, and if it isn't exactly what I want, then uh, I can go and find it. And so we've completely revamped our inventory discovery capability. Um, and we've done a few things. So we've, uh, first of all, done a number of usability studies and talked to a lot of buyers and got feedback um, in what it would take to build really an optimal experience for buyers to find and transact on exactly what they're looking for. So we've uh, rebuilt the uh, filter capabilities uh, to make it really quick and easy to, to filter by geo, publisher, uh, CPM, so I can look at something that's in, you know, a certain range, um, ad sizes, impressions, various targeting, etc. We've also completely uh, replaced the search engine here. 
um, so I can very quickly uh, find whatever it is I'm looking for. Um, and it's smart, deep search, um, and, and very effective. Uh, so this is currently available today. We released it in the last month or so. Um, Project Phoenix is currently still in development, um, but it's headed towards beta and will be available uh, shortly after the first of the year. So both on the uh, publisher and the buying side, we're pushing forward quickly. With Project Phoenix, we're bringing publishers a responsive ad monetization platform built for today's needs, one that supports all sales channels, all ad formats, and all platforms in a single, simple interface, backed up by industry-leading data and analytics. And we've also enhanced our media buyer platform through rapid innovation in the media buyer console. We now have a platform that helps our demand partners quickly and easily discover the inventory they need and it's available today. So these are exciting times for product development at Pomatic, and uh, thank you for letting me share some of this with you today. Thanks, Evan. Thank you. And I, I think people can see an in-depth demo back in the main hall, is that right, Evan, on all these products? Yeah, exactly. So both of these are being shown in the demo booths during the breaks, so feel free to stop by and get some more information. Great, so we shared with you a couple of exciting things around workflow, yield, and analytics, our three key focus areas. I think we also showed you how much we're investing in mobile solutions. And in fact, mobile has been a huge area of investment for us over the last four years. Uh, and so with that, I'm, I'm very excited to, to share with you uh, that we can now say that the mobile advertising gap is closed. So we're releasing today our inaugural quarterly mobile index, which is a quarterly look at mobile monetization from a publisher perspective and an inventory perspective. Uh, and what, what this data shows is that in Q3 of 2015, mobile CPMs grew faster on a year-over-year -year basis than desktop CPMs, 12% versus 10%. Uh, and as well, mobile CPMs were 34% higher than desktop CPMs. So this report is available and looks at pricing by region, by format, by operating system, and also by sales channel. Now equally interesting, we all know how Private marketplace deals transact at a higher CPM typically than open market uh, RTB or exchange deals. And while that premium in desktop is about 3x, what we're seeing in mobile is that the private marketplace premium is 5 to 6x. So significant increases in mobile private marketplace CPMs over desktop CPMs. So I'd encourage all of you to download the report. It's available today on our website. So go to pomatic.com and, and you can download it and check it out. So let me close by just sharing a few highlights for, from Pomatic for 2015. So we'll close the year with over 600 employees worldwide with offices across Asia Pacific, North America, Brazil, and Western Europe. We've got a tremendous team and a growing team. Today we process over 10 billion ad impressions per day and working with many of you here in the room, we've managed to reduce the instances of fraud or non-human traffic to very, very low levels on our platform. And specifically in mobile, we've seen mobile spend on our platform grow by over 200% in the first half of 2015 versus the first half of 2014. We've also launched uh, very innovative and exciting solutions, some of which Evan has already shared with you, our Media Buyer Console 2.0, real-time analytics, uh, native advertising solution, and the most advanced header bidding solution on the market today. And finally, we have some major customer wins that span from China, uh, publishing companies like Tencent and Cheetah Mobile, to Europe, Spotify, and here in the US, New York Times, Sony Pictures, Warner Brothers, Shazam. Uh, so we've got a great, great lineup of clients that have joined the platform and continue to join the platform. So let me thank you for, for your attention this morning and just remind you, you know, our mission is very simple. We enable publishers to realize the full potential of their digital assets. And we do that through the most advanced software platform in the industry that helps many of the publishers here in the room with workflow, yield, and analytics. So I look forward to having you uh, throughout the day. I hope the day is as exciting for you as it will be for me. And I look forward to spending more time with all of you as the day unfolds. Thank you.